to leave. Time now to introduce the fencers for the second of these semi-finals. Kim Chun Wan is on the piste, and here he comes, the triple Olympic champion, Aaron Silagi of Hungary. So as they prepare. Silagi came beat uh, Ricardo Nuccio of Italy in the round of 16 and then Bolard Apati to get to this point. Kim Junwan had a close one against uh, Sebastian Patrice of France. Won that one 15-14. And then defeated Matthias Sabo of Germany. Kim Jun Wan won his first Grand Prix oh, way back. It was 20, it wasn't that far ago, 2014 in uh, Budapest. Five victories, including this event back in 2021. And we're up and we're underway. Kim. Jun Wan on the right of your screens for Korea. And immediately, Aaron Silagi asking for a video review. So the first point wasn't uh, registered and they've now got the scoring right. It's uh, now 3-0 to Kim Junwan. Well, referee giving that as simultaneous. So Lagi thought that he'd picked up the right of way quicker. They both came in, stopped, restarted again. There's the stop. And a good call from uh, the Olympic champion, Silagi. So we get uh, two unsuccessful uh, video appeals before they uh, run out of appeals. Again, simultaneous actions. They're keeping it in the middle. That time, Zalagi going a little bit more eyes open into the middle, looking for the power repost. Got the parry and then built the attack for the repost. Again, Silagi coming and stopping, looking for the parry. Didn't get it that time. Look at the replay on this. Here's the parry. So Aggie's attack. Oh. 
So Salagi just called on preparation there, just came in, brought his hand back ever so slightly. Mm, difficult to call that one and uh, called simultaneous. Both stop, both restart at the same time. Salagi's so right of way, Salagi's so point. So Salagi so backed off there, got the parry, picked up the right of way and was able to finish quite quickly against uh, Kim. Again, same move from Salagi coming in off the line Eyes open, waiting to see what Kim is going to do. A little bit of second intention here. Okay. That time, Salagi changed it up. Kim building the attack now. And the counter attack from Salagi, good. Kim started the better of the two, but Salagi definitely has momentum now. Well, that one was a thunderous parry. As Kim just attacked into the guard of uh, Salagi. And Salagi able just to land the riposte. It was a crunching, crunching parry. Kim decided what he was going to do there as he left the uh, on guard line. And there's really nothing in it. The second semi-final. A lot more tactical than the first. Lovely, lovely parry repost from Aaron Salagi there. Takes us to the break. Let's have a look at this one again. Made sure, made sure, doubly sure, by not getting hit, that it definitely was his right of way. Because as he as he attacked here, he did make blade contact. So they said at the break, there's really nothing in it. Kim Jun Wan. Having a real think. This one is a real chess match. Tactics so important. And they do say that uh, it's more than just a game of prediction. It's more than just a game of paper, scissors, stone. Obviously, predicting what your opponent's going to do is, is part of it. But you can also try and persuade your opponent to do something that they don't want to do. Or you can do what? Salagi does so well. The final P is just perceive what your opponent is about to do. Fence eyes open and just back your ability to hit with an amazing power riposte. That time Salagi made his mind up of what he was going to do. It was going to come straight off the on guard line and attack. This time backs away. And hits with a beautiful counter attack. And one thing I've noticed with Salagi, and you see it with all of his matches, that he seems to work out his opponents. And even if he's down at the break, comes back strong in the second half.
vient de marquer quatre touches d'affilée. So 10-7, the score. So 12-8, and uh, let's have a look at this one again. Yeah, Kim's attack. Kim uh, acknowledging that one to the referee. Good sporting gesture from the Korean. Beautiful from Salagi. And the Olympic champion, just one point away, from booking a spot in the gold medal match. And that's that. Well, it started off really close. And then uh, when they came out after the break, Aaron Silagi had really worked out his opponent and stepped it up another level. And winner of the semi-final number two is Aaron Silagi of Hungary. And that will lead us to a mouth-watering encounter. Silagi versus Bazadze, the master tactician against the powerhouse, the big man who has the speed and the, uh, the caged aggression. But let's have a look at some of the replays from this second of the semi-finals. So confirmation of the scores, 15-8. Aaron